let, trick the kernel debugger into thinking it's looking at a crash dump and it's looking at a live system, you can do dot dump in there to snapshot that system's memory state to disk and then take it offline to go analyze. And then one final thing, I'm going to switch over to my real laptop here. Oh, see? There we go. Wake it up. And should leave you with one last summary slide. I just missed the reminder and I get the control of my desktop back. And I apologize to the web viewers that you can't see this. Summary slide. And that is right here. And uh oh. Well, I guess that's fitting, isn't it? It's the end of a crash. Talk to have a crash. Actually, that's not a real crash. That's the blue screen of that screensaver, which is a free download from System Internals that mimics a, a real looking crash. <laughs> but if you wait long enough, it also simulates a real reboot. And I want to just, if you want to. <laughs> Just when it looks like it's going to succeed in booting, we're going to get uh, another crash in a second. But I want to share with you a little story. This screensaver is so authentic looking, it's fooled kernel developers at Microsoft. It's fooled Dave Solomon, and it's even fooled me. There was one day we were teaching a seminar together, different rooms, and I took a break, and he went into my room, and the screensaver was running like this, and he comes running down the hall. Mark, Mark, get back in there. Your system's crashing and rebooting. Dave, chill. It's just a screensaver. Oh. But it's also been used on Brian Valentine himself. See, he, he was the head of Exchange 5.5 before he moved to Windows. And he's very involved with the development process. As Exchange 5.5 neared its release date, he would go to the test lab every, every morning when he came to work. And at, back in those days, you had individual monitors connected to the computers. He'd wake them all up, go down to the end of the room, and turn around to see if there was any problems. The test team started to see this pattern develop. So they decided to play a little prank on him, on the night of the RTM release test, <laughs> they load the screensaver on all the machines, he comes in the morning, he wakes them all up, turns around and sees nothing but blue, and if you know anything about Brian Valentine, you know that his reaction was a little bit uh, colorful. They anticipated a colorful reaction and they had a, mounted a video camera in the corner of the room. <laughs> and uh, maybe that explains why he's um, a little bit annoyed with blue screens, but that, that video actually I've never even seen. It's more closely guarded than the Windows source code. <laughs> and I want to leave you with one last tip if, on how to get maximal usage out of the blue screen to death screensaver, and that is this PS exec command, PS exec being a free tool from system internals, that you can use to launch it on somebody else's machine. And so that brings us to the conclusion. Uh, there's more information. Everything I've talked about is in Chapter 10 of the Windows Internals book. So all of those crash examples are in there, complete with the full discussion of what you saw. The knowledge base, other books are available in that URL. Please fill out your evals, and I thank you very much for coming. Hope you're crash-free in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes this afternoon's TechNet webcast. I'd like to thank you all for joining us. We have put a survey up on the screen for those of you joining us via live meeting. If you could take a few moments and fill out the survey, let us know what you thought of today's presentation. We greatly appreciate the feedback that you have uh, to offer us. Well, and again, I'd like to thank Mark for presenting today, and thank you to our team that was helping out in the background to answer questions. There's still a few questions in queue, and they will get to those. Again, if you could fill out the survey, we'd greatly appreciate it. Remember, when you fill out a survey at any Microsoft webcast through the month of June, you'll automatically be entered to win a free 40 gigabyte Creative Zen Ultra MP3 player. This concludes this webcast. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. <laughs>